You might have heard of your baby's ideal wake window or their right schedule, but when you hear about, okay, your baby should go down for a nap two and a half hours after they wake up, there is a certain segment of parents who are like, wait a minute, is that from like when I get them out of the crib? Is that when they wake up from their nap? Like, when do I time these wake windows? Becca, help me. In this podcast episode and YouTube video, I am going to lay it out for you very clearly because there's a difference. Newborns and babies, you're going to time awake windows in two very different ways, and I'm gonna teach you how to do this really simply. Campbell, your pediatric sleep consultant. Welcome to the Little Z Sleeve YouTube and podcast channel. This is our place, you and me, where every week we help you make sleep a thing in your family. I believe that getting sleep help should be really easy, which is why we've committed to this content every single week and my step-by-step -step plans to help you finally sleep train your family with confidence. Our programs are for ages zero to five years old, and in every single one of our sleep courses, you will find a no-fluff solution that gives you exact guidance on what to do and help your family sleep train once and for all. No matter if you have sleep trained or not, you likely are here because you have been struggling with awake windows and wondering like, when do I time these? Like, does it start from when I put them down to the crib? Does it start from when I get them out of the crib? Like when they wake up, like, I don't know. Well, this simply put breaks down into two different age groups. So this video is for newborns and it's for babies. So the newborn age we say here at Little Z's is zero to three months old. A baby is four to 16 months old. And so there are two two different ways that you time awake windows. And I wanna walk you through that guidance step-by-step. Step. If you're coming to this video ready for the answer, but also kind of like, I'm um, sorry, what's awake window, Becca? Then here's the really easy way to look at this. An awake window is simply the time between awaking and sleeping. This means that when they wake up in the morning and when they go down for their nap, or it could be when they wake from one nap and they go down for another nap. It's just the time, the window between the time of awaking and sleeping, again, that's an awake window. If you have no idea the lengths of your child's awake windows, then I want you to check out our complete schedule guide. This will give you every single schedule you will need from zero to three years old, line by line and page by page, you're gonna learn what is the ideal schedule for your child by age, because it changes a lot. So now that you know what an awake window is, you have the right schedule in place, when do you start timing this? Because in my schedule guide, I will say things like, okay, when your child wakes up at the you know two and a half hour mark, then they're gonna go down for the nap at the three and a half hour mark. And you're like, okay, but what does that happen? The two ages, newborn and baby. There are two different ways that you time awake windows. The newborn, you are going to start your clock for the awake window, which is really small. Remember, it's like 45 to 60 minutes. That awake window begins when they open their eyes. So that means when they wake up in the morning and you look at the monitor, you see their eyes are open. Okay, boom, we're starting the wake window. You go in, you pick them out of the crib, you move on with your day. And that wake window is that time from they open their eyes until they need to go back down in that crib to sleep. So that's how you time the newborn wake window. When they pop their eyeballs open, start the clock. When that wake window is over, that's the time you're laying them back into the bassinet or crib to go ready to go back to sleep. For babies, their awake window, again, that's four to 16 month old. This wake window begins when you pick them up out of the crib and you get them out of their bed. That's when their awake window starts. So it's no longer when they open their eyeballs. And there's a big reason. Newborns and babies are totally different. They can handle things very different. A newborn has a very, very teeny tiny wake window. Babies have much larger windows, anywhere from 90 minutes for a four month old all the way up to five and a half hours for a toddler. So these wake windows are very different in how you measure them. A baby, it's when you pick them up out of the crib. A newborn, it's when they open their eyeballs. Now, here's the key to helping you move forward with these. The key to having your baby's wake windows begin when you get them out of the crib is perfectly helpful when you are trying to end their short nap cycle. I've seen this a lot with families. They're in a short nap cycle, and what's happening is they're using the time they wake up as the wake window. And what you're actually doing here is you are kind of rewarding that short nap with an even shorter awake window because 
typically, if your baby is napping for 30 minutes, you aren't typically rushing right in there. You're like hoping and praying and looking at the monitor like, please go back to sleep. So what happens is you maybe give them 20 minutes to see if they'll go back to sleep. They don't. So you go in, you get them out of the crib and you're like, okay, well, they've already been awake for 20 minutes. So uh, we just have like an hour and 15 minutes left. And in reality, you're not giving them the full wake window that they need out of the crib. And you're kind of short changing them a little bit with how much time they should be out of their crib, awake and moving around, having food, living their life. And now you're gonna be back into a short nap because they're expecting that they'll wake up, have a short window, and they haven't been awake enough. Here's the thing. Your baby has to be awake enough to fill up their awake tank and then be able to sleep it off. And so if they aren't able to fully recharge that awake time and they go back down again, then we're constantly gonna be having a short awake window and then a short nap and then a short awake window and then a short nap. You see that rut that can happen there? So when you time the wake window, you get your baby out of the crib. Now you start your, let's say two and a half hours before your next nap. Now we're gonna have a much better chance of actually having a fuller nap because you've honored their ideal awake window time. The same principle is true for the early morning. Sometimes you might have noticed that, oh, they woke up at 5.30 and maybe you left them in there until 6.30 because they were quiet, but in your mind you're like, well, they were awake at 5.30, so that was an hour of wake time. So now we only need an hour and a half to get that two and a half. So, okay, we'll go down early for your early for your nap because you were awake for an hour early in the crib. But the reality is they were not awake that entire hour. I guarantee you, if your child is quiet in their crib and you just happen to see at 530, their eyes were open, you probably, hopefully, are not staring at the monitor from 5.30 to 6.30 before you get them up. And I guarantee you there are times when your child is dozing back to sleep and waking up and dozing back to sleep and waking up, which actually counts. So don't use that, oh, you were awake at 5.30, so I'll start your clock then. If you're doing that, now you're setting up the day for more naps and shorter naps than necessary. So all in all, let's kind of conclude and round out, when are you supposed to put your baby down for a nap? For a newborn, they can only handle 45 to 60 minutes of being awake. And that 45 to 60 minutes starts when they open their eyeballs up for the morning or they open their eyes up from a nap. Bingo, that's when you start your clock. For a baby who is four to 16 months and beyond, you're starting their awake window from when you get them out of the crib. That's when you're starting the timer for when their next nap begins. I would love to know, how have you been approaching wake windows? And does this help actually make sense and put those puzzle pieces together like, aha, now I understand why we've been having such a difficult first nap of the day. It's because I've been counting that hour that they've been awake in their crib as awake time and not having enough awake time, actually, they get out of the crib and then our whole day is shot with short naps and off timing. I would love to know what was your aha moment in this video? This is a perfect place to be week after week to help you keep making sense sleep a thing. And again, to help put all these things into place, the ideal schedule for your child is everything you need inside the complete schedule guide here at Little Z. So check the link below to grab our comprehensive complete schedule guide that will help you understand every single schedule your child needs from zero to three years old. I understand sometimes in the world of sleep, things can be confusing. Again, here at Little Z's, we just wanna make getting sleep help easy. So even though awake windows can seem like calculus sometimes, I hope this video was able to help put those pieces together. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode or a video. Until then, sweet dreams, see you next time.